So here is the final version of the uh, very cheap LED matrix. Um, I've written a program for it that allows me to um, pass uh, as the first parameter an extremely wide image which it scrolls across. It also looks for a text file that accompanies it. Um, and that text file can tell us to hold a particular frame like that or to flip through a series of animated frames, a bit like an animated GIF. But the default action is to scroll across uh, text. Um, if we get a bit closer, as you can see, it, it is actually quite readable from a, from a distance. It becomes distinctly less readable the closer and closer you get. Um, so... <laughs> And when we get right up to it, yeah, distinctly less, you can barely see what that is. Whereas if we step back a bit, um, there, it's much more readable. Um, uh, digging through to find fonts that work really well with 8 pixels gave me fond memories of uh, designing fonts which I used to do on the Commodore 64, which of course was 8 pixels by 8 pixels for any characters. Um, I bought 100 pixels, two reels of 50, um, so I had, that's a 12 by 8 grid, so I had four pixels left over, which I have popped down here in the pumpkins and got those running. And we've got um, uh, a cheapo weatherproof box. If I open this up, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see anything or whether we need a brighter light. Um, but yes, it is a huge mess of tangled wires. Um, that could probably be tidied up to make it a more professional project, but for the moment, that will do. Um, and then we've got that running from um, a proper IP66 um, uh, external uh, socket there. So, yes, seems to be uh, quite effective. And um, we had quite a few people commenting on it this evening saying that um, they were quite impressed with it. A couple of people asked where I bought it from, and they seem to think it was a professional thing, which of course we know it's not the whole point of this project, is to try and do um, a usable uh, full-colour LED addressable matrix for um, less than 50 quid, if we can possibly do it. So there we go. I'll let the, uh, let the pumpkin animate, and then I think we'll call it a day. There we go, quite chuffed with that.